Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Kenny Crew Podcast. I'm your host, Boss. How do you do? Good and you, good and you. So listen, I just want to give you the heads up, okay? Today is, it's a day in 2022. Let's see which day. Here we go, January 20th. It's Thursday of 2022. And I just wanted to give you the heads up. I woke up not feeling too great today. So if you do hear me with my voice not sounding phenomenal, that's the reason why. So just please bear with me. Um, I'm trying to record this here thing six times now. And in the middle of recording it, my voice sometimes goes out. And I'm, I'm trying to push through this here. Okay, so we were going to talk about something. And then I, I saw a comment on TikTok. And I says, okay, we'll talk about that instead. So I'm switching it. Today's with yesterday's. Or today's with tomorrow's. Okay, I was going back in time. So this is a comment on TikTok by Warlocks underscore one. And they wrote it on a video that I, I mentioned about the Kenyan Crew podcast. And it says, when you were talking about the guidelines, I agree. Sometimes I get flagged for blood and gore for the military things I post copyright and wired sound. I think maybe you meant weird sound, but it says wired sound. But as far as the blood and gore thing goes, okay, I, I know they're, they're very sensitive on TikTok, but as far as the blood and gore things goes, um, there are some people that, like, legitimately can't look at that shit. They want to pass out or, like, you know, get sick or something like that. So maybe what they should do on TikTok is a trigger warning edit section, whereas, like, it doesn't take away from your 15-second video. If you want to do a 15-second video, a 60-second video, or a three-minute video, it won't take away from that time frame. And you click on the trigger warning section and you click on the options that they'll accept. So if you got a prop sword, then, you know, you could select that shit. Or like if you got fake blood warning, you know, you click on that. So th this way, there's that section. They accepted it. And you're showing your stuff and, and nobody should be offended because you already you sh showed it. Nobody should be complaining and whatnot. I've been asked for trigger warnings with some of my content and I don't agree with that. Um... I don't believe I ever worked with any any of that type of stuff. But, like, if I was doing flashy lights, then I can understand. And if somebody complained, like, listen, I got seizures. I shouldn't be seeing that without a trigger warning. And I, I would I would agree with that. I understand that. But there was a video where I took the, the cell phone and I threw it in a trunk as if the person was going into the trunk. And then I shut the trunk and all that. And somebody wanted to tell me about how that happened to them. And this is a trigger warning. Can I please go back to like the Charlie Chaplin content and shit? And like my attitude is like, come on now. Like literally anybody could ask for a trigger warning. Like my dog could unfortunately pass away, Petey, you know, and, and, and then all of a sudden I see somebody on TikTok with a box of dog that's white. What am I going to say? Can, 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 can you do a trigger warning for some people that may have just lost their dog, please? Because now I'm crying because you have video. You know what I mean? Like that, that's fucking ridiculous. So... But I, as far as the blood and gore things, I do kind of understand that. But they should make it so that you can do your own thing. Because, you know, TikTok shouldn't just be about sex sells. So, like, there's songwriters on there. There's people that like to make beats. There's other people that like to make, like, their own movie. That's how I was looking at it. Like, I was doing, like, movie clips and scenes. So, when I got the Tommy gun that I bought specifically to do scenes with that, I painted the tip from orange to black because I wanted it to look realistic and I'm not going to be walking amongst the streets with this fucking thing trying to like look like a tough guy you know what I mean like so I'm not going to get shot up down left and right I'm just going to be you know doing my thing in the privacy of my own home making my content but they'll remove it because of the fact that you know they see it and it's it's all made out of plastic it's an air soft thing you know but they should have that in the beginning, like that, that trigger warning section, there should also be something like that, like warning, fake, fake prop gun or something like that. This way you could click it. They accepted that type of stuff already. And that's that. Like they, they I don't know, on TikTok, for some reason, they allow the craziest shit. And then it's like, I mentioned the step-by-step -step tutorial on how you follow my podcast. You click on the beacons link and you do this, that, that, that. They muted the, the voice. And it's like, for what? Meanwhile, I'm swiping on the For You page and I saw... A girl videotaping her boyfriend who's on the toilet bowl and he's like three quarters of the way naked. And like, I don't need to see none of that from the male or the females. I, that's not why I'm on TikTok. You know what I mean? I see all this here with the bikinis and they're in their bedroom with their firefighter poles in the background. Meanwhile, they ain't a firefighter. You know, it's like I can understand if you're at the beach or at the very least fucking green screen, the thing that you're at the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. What? what 
what are we doing here? But they allow all that shit, and then you're trying to do your own scenes and whatnot, and that's that's taking it too far. You know, like I did understand one time I had I had my real pew pew. Uh, and I was I was doing a scene with that. My hand wasn't on the the thing to make it go bang, you know. But I can understand a little bit because it was you know somebody was like I can see the things in there. It's loaded, and I was like, yeah, it is. You know, you caught me. <laughs> but like I was I was trying to showcase the fact that they allowed my video, and they took down somebody's nerf. Somebody had to nerf one of those things, and like they was taken down, and the thing was like orange and yellow. Meanwhile, mine was like clear as day. It was you know, legitimate. So I showed them the fact that like, you know, they still kept my video. Meanwhile, they got rid of yours, you know, and then the kid did like a duet. And then of course my shit was taken down after that. But it's like, you know, I feel like you should be able to make whatever you want on your, on your page to a certain extent though. You shouldn't be looking to hurt groups of people because you got certain weirdo views. You know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're doing that racism shit, you're a fucking idiot, and you shouldn't be able to, like, formulate groups against races and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand shutting those shows down. But, like, a kid or, like, a guy trying to just make some videos and trying to make people either laugh or entertain them in other ways than sexuality-wise, then I say, like, they should push that, you know? But they don't. They push more of the sexual stuff because it's faster and easier to sell. But the thing is with that, too, right, is... Like, all these people that gets... Even even the guys. When I speak and I say girls, that's because my more experiences is with the girls. Because, obviously, like, when I first signed up with, with, with TikTok, I was swiping away. I was doing the hearts. I was treating it like fucking Tinder. You know? So, like, because of that, I think they send all these videos my way anyhow. Extra special now because of that. But, oh, God. Oh, I started losing the, the topic at hand here. I went... I think I went way off. I went from blood and gore to... Fucking sex on TikTok now. Um, but it is, it, it's a little too much though. It's it's like, I understand that that sells, oh, that was the thing, is, you know, you got all these likes from people, but like, who's to say where the fucking likes are coming from? You know what I mean? So like, let's say, let's say if I worked out and I got myself like a chiseled body and all that, and then I'm wearing like nothing but a Speedo, and you see the whole, the lines all over the place and whatnot, and, and, and the stuff, and it's like, all those likes... It's probably from, like, fucking 12-year-old children, 13-year-old, 14-year-olds, and shit like that. And, like, that's that's terrible. But it's just as terrible for a woman to be getting likes from those sets of groups of ages. And, and nobody... I don't think nobody, like, looks at it like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of women that shows their shit, and it gets a lot of likes. But that's... It's a lot of children that's on there liking that shit, obviously, because they've never seen it before. Besides when their mother was popping their titty in their mouth. That was the last titty that they seen. So now all of a sudden they seen it popping their face off a TikTok screen. Of course they're going to like the shit out of it. I would like the shit out of it too. And like I say, it's the same thing with the guys too. Guys do it with the eggplant emojis and whatnot. They think they get a like 3D eye pop you in the fucking face. And, you know, that's all fine and good. You get your, you know, I understand too. They got their models and whatnot. So there should be a modeling pages and all that. I get it. But... It's just too much. And then there's a lot of them that there is, there, there ain't no model. There'll never be no model. But, like, anybody could do the shit on TikTok, really. Like, if I really wanted to, I could start, well, the community guideline violate me. But if I started stripping down and whatnot, I'm sure I would appeal to a, a certain group that, like, anybody will appeal. I don't believe in that there's body positivity. I don't believe in that. You just want to take off your fucking clothes. Just say that or don't say nothing at all. Just take off your clothes then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be 6,000 pounds taking off my clothes and being like, oh, this is just to show anybody that, like, anybody could do it. Everybody already knows you can do it. If you get that 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 website that they show all the stuff, there's an application for that. A anybody can make money off of that. You could, you could do videos of your fucking toesies and you make money off of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even got to get them done. You just fucking roll out of bed, start videotaping, and then you're making yourself some money. So I don't believe that there's a need for any more pos body positivity. I'm pretty sure that people got it. Like, you appeal to somebody. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is start up that application, and you will be found by somebody, and they'll throw dollar-dollar bills towards your way. And it's just that, like, TikTok don't need to be like that. So they're very fierce to push that instead of you trying to be creative. 
and do a little, what are you doing, military, see, like uh, Warlock underscore. One, you're doing the military scenes and whatnot, so obviously you're going to have some of that. You know, I'm, I'm sure it's not always like that, but it is frustrating when you take the time to do things and then it's removed for community guidelines violation and then you swipe on the For You page and then you, you see some of the things that you see. And it's like, how was mine so bad that you decided to take it down? But it's not, and and you have to really remember that too. It's not bad. The stuff that you're posting is probably not terrible. I've had so many videos taken down, and it's like I've been taken down for nudity. Meanwhile, I'm in a three piece suit. Uh, I've been taken down for sexual content. Meanwhile, I was in a white beater, and it was a little cold, and my nipple showed through the white beater a little bit. But you know, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I've seen women be able to show their shit, and you can see the piercings, too, and all that. Like, I, I don't understand how I got flagged like that, you know? And same thing with the... Okay, here's another thing, is when you're live, you could be live, and anybody could just ban your account. They, they could just report you for no reason because they're jealous that they can't go live. And I don't agree with that. I feel like they got to put a stop to that. That's why I don't use TikTok Live all that much at all. Um, I used to. I used to really enjoy it. And it's fun connecting with people and the followers and whatnot. That's awesome. Now I just do Twitch because I could say and do anything. And, like, they don't shut my show down over there. Whereas TikTok, if I go, like, <coughs> they're like, nope, nope. I don't know what that was, but we're going to have to take them down over that. And it's ridiculous. So I feel like what they should do is have limitations on that report button. You can't report somebody unless you have like a thousand followers yourself. You can't report somebody unless you posted a hundred videos. Because then maybe you understand what it's like to be community guidelines violated against. Meanwhile, it's for no reason. You know, maybe you might have a sense of sympathy for that or something like that. Whereas... These people, I could literally create 10 TikTok accounts right now and report people that I'm jealous of that has 2 million that I don't think deserves 2 million followers or gets 10 million views over farting on the phone. I don't think deserves that. I, d I think I deserve with my real estate video more views. So I'm going to create 10, 10 TikTok accounts and report the shit out of their video to make them miserable. You know, it's like it shouldn't be done like that. And I think that's a good way to put a stop to that is if you... If you set those limitations, you got limitations in order to go live. You had to have a thousand followers. I don't know if that's still the case, but that's what it was. Meanwhile, in order to report lives, you could literally have zero. I could I could just about start up an account right now and start reporting people for no reason. And there's no repercussions. It's just they'll either find the people bid or they'll just fucking give them their show back in an hour. And then, you know, they do this thing with the videos. If you get your shit taken down one too many times. You can't post for like a week or two weeks. Some people was out a couple of months. I mean, luckily, knock on wood, they never hit me with that that kind of, you know, ridiculous bullshit. They slapped me on the wrist for like three days or something like that. But it's terrible, you know. I've seen content that does deserve that type of shit. And then I've seen content that does not. And they get the harshest um, penalties. Penalties? Whatever. But you understand what I'm saying, you know, and they really got to work on that. And the thing is, is this, is that TikTok knows that you're coming back. Everybody always says, I'm going to YouTube, I'm going to fucking Spotify, I'm going to Twitch. And then they all come crawling back because this is the thing that you have to remember with TikTok. And this is with any social medias too. Even if you're posting, if your thing is views or followers or whatever, if you're posting for six months and nothing happens, all you have to do is wait for that seventh month of posting, and that could give you like two million views or a or hundred thousand followers, and that beats out any six months that you would have done on those other apps. And I, I'm a firm believer in that. As much as I do butt heads with TikTok, and I fucking I wish that they was replaced. I wish that I wish that an app came out that's like as lenient as Twitch, but as as easy to get recognized on TikTok. Like, the two of those apps merged together, I think would be a very good kind of uh, atmosphere, you know? Because I feel like Twitch does it right, where I don't. I never had a fear of be, having my lives taken down. In the beginning, I was extremely skeptical because I already had it done like a hundred fucking times on TikTok. But as far as Twitch goes, once I got used to everything and, and I was fine, like I was starting off saying like capital F word, I wasn't even cursing. And people was like, oh, you can, you could do this. You could do anything you want over here. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Is this a setup? 
So, um, and, you know, it's not as easy on Twitch, at least my setup. It wasn't just, like, start it up on your phone and go live. It's like I got the fucking, the webcam going, the microphone, the streaming thing for the for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and all this shit and, and the computer plugged all into one. So it's not, it's not as simple as just, like, go live off your phone, you know. So, like, I wasn't trying to ruin that right off the bat. Um, but then I got used to it, and it's very nice. It's a nice atmosphere. For some reason, there's a lot of upset people on TikTok. There's a lot of hurt people on TikTok. So you get a lot of um, a lot of people like throwing. If you if you put your personal business out there, they'll throw that shit in your face. And you know it, it is what it is. I think if anything, it might. Well, I don't know. It really didn't help me any, to be honest with you. It was good to like say some shit and get some things off my chest, as far as like my personal issues goes and whatnot and like the, the the demons that I battle every day but at the same time like people hit me with those I was doing POVs and people would hit me with this fucking oh POV this that the third and they were going like personal for me you know what I'm saying like I I, I could feel it through the fucking computer or, or or cell phone the heat they were like really coming from my heart and I don't know why it's like I have no as far as I know I really have I'd say under a handful of enemies and I don't have no enemies myself, like, personally. But I think there's a, at least a handful or maybe under of people that wishes that I wasn't breathing. And that's that's okay. That's fine. That's on them. But there's really no need to, like, to be coming here to be like that and, and personally and whatnot and trying to hurt me uh, for absolutely no reason. Like, I wasn't looking to do nothing wrong. I don't do, as far as my account goes, I do fluctuate with different contents and whatnot. But I don't do any, like, political things. I don't do no racism things. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I stay away from that type of shit. So I really don't understand where the people come off with some of the shit that they say. Especially when it's, like, not even your fault. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like a car accident that I was in that I had. I was, like, at a red light, let's say. Right? This is a hypothetical. I'm at a red light, and I got fucking smashed into head on by a drunk driver even. They would be like... Oh, well, what business did you have going out on your way to work at 6.30 in the morning? You, you know what I mean? Like, throwing shit in my face like that. And it's like, I had no control over the situation, man. You know what I mean? Like, believe me, I didn't... Ask, okay, so here's my situation. It's the fact that in 2016, I had a baby. And uh, I don't know if I want to go down these here roads. Well, the fact of the matter was that he turned out to not be mine after I did a DNA test and whatnot. And obviously, it still has an effect on me to this day. So people were doing like POVs and whatnot. They were like, oh, POV, I'm your long lost son. And it turned out we do have the same DNA and all this other stupid, hypothetical, fucking made up bullshit. And it's like, why why are you coming after me like that? Why you got to throw some shit in my face? Like, why can't you just do like a POV I'm your son and you taught me how to tie my tie. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, that's even coming close to home a little bit, but I was able to push through that. You know, sometimes I did tear up some things, especially when, like, people would duet me. I did do some POVs. I'm teaching how to tie the tie. And, like, some kids would duet me or whatnot, and I would be crying, you know, because, like, I'm picturing the kid, like, watching my videos, learning and all that shit, you know? So um, that was hard enough as it was to push through, let alone I got these fucking dickheads like, really trying to fucking drive the the sword into my heart. So, um, that's why you gotta, I don't know, it's it's good to, like, display your, your personal shit, but at the same time, you have to be ready for the public to just throw it in your face for absolutely no reason. Um, and, and that's just, unfortunately, the way it is, though. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, let's see, what else is, is there about the social medias? Um... I think I I talked about, I don't know, the views, the community guidelines, the people on there. Really, you just got to keep on pushing. If you want to if you wanna be a part of that, then you just got to keep on posting, keep on staying relevant. Like, even when I was depressed and I wasn't feeling like posting anything, I didn't suit up. I didn't throw on the fedora and whatnot. I would just be, like, taking my hiking walks and, and was posting even that. And that's just keeping relevant on the applications that you spent your time on you know i didn't want to just disappear off the shit and for some reason my accounts easily lose people so if i stopped posting i knew i would be losing like i lose five thousand followers before i gain like over a hundred thousand that's how tiktok works for me so i have to lose five thousand then i start gaining 
And if I stopped posting, that five would probably be like 10,000 people. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to post. I'm not going to post the content that people are here for. I'm just going to post to stay relevant. And I'll get back into that shit when I feel better. Um, Because for some reason, like that stuff, it, it feels like... Back when I was on Tinder and whatnot, it was nice when you get a match and everything, and and, and because you like that person, they like you, you're swiping on each other, all that shit. It's very nice. You get this, uh, what do they call it, endorphins? So you get that when you get all these likes and these views even. I didn't even care about the likes. I just wanted people to see my stuff, you know, just see the videos that I was making, and um, and I was just getting, I was getting enough from that, you know. But then when they, when TikTok takes that away from you, it's very discouraging. I was getting depressed about it. And this was, you know, in the very beginning, after I got the taste of like views and all that, um, then that started happening when I, when I, when they ripped the rug under my feet and whatnot. Then I was like, what am I doing? Is it the content? And it's not, it's really not the content because the shit that I seen on there that gets millions of views is ridiculous. Even shit myself that I made, like they got that, that there's a, a video of a girl singing this song. She says, please don't text me when you're drunk. Ooh, ooh, don't text me at all. And then I just go, okay. And that got more views than me doing green screens and editing with the green screens of being like Thomas Hardy's fucking real estate agent or what the fuck else did I do? I don't remember the other skits I was doing, but I was doing something. Oh, the weather guy. I was doing weatherman reports and shit like that, you know? And it's like, I can't believe that just for saying K... I got that many views over me putting in actual effort and time. And it's not because of the content, you know, because I made sure there was a little bit of everything for everybody. So if you didn't laugh in the beginning, you possibly laughed in the middle. And if not, I got you at the end, you know. So I and then I even split apart the videos because I noticed, like I checked the analytics like it's my job. And I noticed that there's a lot of short term Paying attention wise You know So it's like If I make a 10 second video I'll see that they watch 8 seconds If I make a 15 They watch 10 You know Some shit like that So I said Fuck it Why post a whole 2 minute video Or a minute and a half video And have like Them watch 10 seconds of the shit So I'm just gonna post it In like 15 second increments This way I'm only losing A couple of seconds per video And then I posted One shebang So it's unfortunate that you have to post like that, though, because I feel like that's like repeat posting part one, part two, part three, part four, and and the list goes on. And then it's like, boom, here's the whole thing. So it's like, why did I have to do that, though? You know, I wish I could just post that one. They finally gave me the three minute thing when they first came out. That was great. But then I started posting the three minutes and I was like, I feel like this is a setup because it's like who on TikTok is really watching. I mean, have you ever watched something for three minutes? I don't think I I don't think I ever watch anything for three minutes on TikTok. When I go to YouTube, I'm prepared for that shit. I'm not going to YouTube to watch no 60-second videos. So I don't know if it's the mindset, the mentality. You got to be like, you got to prep yourself. Okay, we're, we're in for a long video. So YouTube it is. Uh, or if it's like, I don't got no time, so I'm going to TikTok real quick. But I think it was a setup with the three-minute videos because the less people watches the less video views you get. So if I constantly am making three-minute videos because I think of who the fuck I am now that I have that that capability, if I keep on posting three-minute videos, you're watching 10 seconds of it. It's not being pushed at all. So that means that I wasted fucking time. That's what that means. And if I just kept on posting three-minute videos and only three-minute videos, I would be completely wasting my time and probably demolishing the fuck out of my account. So that's why, like, I do the things that I do on purpose. Um... I am expecting the TikTok thing, my, my TikTok days to run out. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but I've been having that feeling even before I got uh, like 100,000 followers. Because I have I have probably over, I'd say, I'd say very close to like 200 notifications by TikTok of community guideline violations. So I don't know how I've heard that some people literally had two and they got their account permanently banned. Meanwhile, I have like 200. And that's like a legitimate thing. I could still pull them up today. Um, and I've showed screenshots of it and, and like videos of the thing. You know, I did a screen recording. I'm like scrolling through, scrolling through. And you could just see all of them. It's crazy. But for no reason, though. There, there was, okay, I do have like, I'd say two or three videos, possibly. The fact that I do understand. I was pushing... 
I was pushing the community guidelines violation thing way beyond, and that was just done on purpose. But when they removed it, I completely understood it. So, like, what's right is right. I am, I'm not gonna say because I'm frank. Uh, I, 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 I want like this level of. I could do whatever the fuckness I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't... I, I don't have that mentality. My mentality is, you know, that was too far. So, yeah, I understand you took that down. But me saying, hey, everybody, how do you do? Good and you? And then they say, oh, this is removed for harassment and bullying or some shit like that. It's like, what, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? How, who am I harassing and bullying? I ask you, how you doing? So, they... And they, they stay doing that shit and they don't have any, like, always... Oh, they give you a sorry, but that's it. That, that's all they do. And then you also lose. So let's say if I was getting 10,000 v- video views and somebody was mad and they reported me, um, they take away the video and then they, you know, they, they check your appeal and whatnot. And then they give you back the video. But then that's it. You don't get no. If I was getting 10,000 views in five minutes and then it got reported like crazy, I don't get no more 10,000 views in five minutes. I don't even get 1,000 views in an hour no more. Literally, like, 10 people are going to see that fucking video for the rest of the day, and that's the end of that. That that You killed my video. That's basically what it does. And that's why I fucking I hate that report button, especially because of the fact that it's by people that, A, they don't post shit. They never posted one fucking video in their life. So, because there's no way you easily hit that report button. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. I would never hit that report button on somebody that didn't deserve it because I know, A, how it feels, and B, it's it's terrible to fucking put in work and effort and thinking of content to make and to have that shit removed. Um, but regardless, all you got to do is just keep on pushing, though. Like, it might not be working now. It'll work eventually. And all you got to do, too, is just be patient. That's what I'm waiting for is... I'm waiting for the app to come out that's going to demolish the shit out of TikTok because I just don't see TikTok changing their ways. I really don't. If anything, I see them getting worse. They got this fucking money. And people put in these damn... Well, this is another video I was going to make on. Literally, all these fucking videos now, all these live feeds is... This, it's two people, right? Two people side to side, and they go like this. All The whole stream. Thank you very much for the cows. Thank you very much for the gold doubloons. Thank you very much for the red rupees. Thank you very much for the diamonds. Thank you very much for the treasure chest. Thank you very much for the octopuses. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's the two of them is thanking all their people for the fucking gifts. That's all it is. And it's like, how, how... I'll click on it just to see how many people is in their lives. And I say, how the fuck these people got 6,000 people in their lives, 3,000 people in their lives. And I literally, in any of my lives, I never had over 100 people. Well, maybe, okay, maybe I had a little over 100, but I never broke 200 people on any of my lives at one time on TikTok. And meanwhile, I have over 300,000 followers. And it doesn't matter what the fuck I did. I did spray painting. I did... I do video games. I've seen people do that. I've seen people do the Fortnite video games and, and, and they show just the TV screen and they also get 4,000. And I look at their following list and the the people literally has like 6,000 followers. And I'm like, how the fuck? How is this possible? So I don't understand why some people they push, other people they push down. I don't get that. But here's the thing. And this is a shout out to you too, Spotify. If you don't, Like, if I work up my Spotify account, right? Let's say if I do, like, Twitch. Twitch, I gain, like, 1,200 followers within, like, a month or two. And then, you know, it slowed up and whatnot because I wasn't pushing it no more because I'll go on Twitch Live. And it's literally, like, the same four to six people always in my lives. They don't never push me to know new people that they say, oh, you was unrecommended or nothing like this. It's happened, like, a handful of times, maybe. That's it. So... They don't do that shit. And here's the thing, Spotify. This is what I was telling you. The shout out to you. So if I work my ears off, right, and I gain myself a bunch of followers on Spotify and I start having listeners and whatnot and you don't push my shit to random people, like if I notice I'm going nowhere on your shit, I'm just going to find another application to try out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not going anywhere. That's that's the bottom line that I'm trying to tell you, Spotify. So it's the same thing for, for Twitch, for YouTube. For TikTok, I just keep on all these different... And I know I'm doing the right thing, though. Like, I was iffy. When I did YouTube, I was very iffy as far as should I get into social media. But then I did something for a company, and I didn't expect nothing. I didn't even expect them to recognize what the fuck I did. And they reached out to me, and not only reached out to me and thanked me verbally... 
but they sent me out like one of their products just for the sake of me doing what I did. And that showed me, I says, you know what? I'm onto something then. I am a content creator and I'm going to stick by this. And then, you know, tic- um, YouTube was very slow. So then somebody recommended TikTok and, you know, the story from there. Uh, that's what led us over here. But I'm not I'm not going anywhere. There's no need for me to go anywhere. I'm not a terrible person. I don't promote no kind of hate. I, I don't like any uh, ra- racist shit. I don't like any politics talk. I don't do none of that shit. I don't try and convert people for religions. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's literally no reason to shut my shows down or mute my volume. So, if it don't work out here, I will do another... I'll go to fucking iTunes Direct. I'll do whatever the fuck I gotta do. But I enjoy all this content creating. That's why I'm doing it. That's why I do the... It all started with the, the video games on YouTube. That's how I started. I wasn't comfortable showing my face yet. So I started with just screen recording my my gameplay, and you heard my voice, I believe. That was it. Um, And then after like three videos posting like that, I think I was doing Call of Duty videos on YouTube. So I did three posts like that, and then I says, okay, fuck it. I could include the webcam now. So then I did the webcam, and then I got more comfortable with that. Then I started doing just straight-up videos. I wasn't doing no more gameplay. I wasn't doing no more webcaming stuff. And... um, and I enjoyed it, and like, because it's like I was setting up my own little movies and whatnot. And if I wanted to end the sentence at this specific moment, you know, you're in complete control of what the fuck you're doing. I love that, you know. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was unfortunate that it was slow, though, you know. It, and I know, I know these things take time. I'm the type of person that, like, when I start a game, let's say if they have a new Spider-Man game and they have like uh, a, a golden. Golden Armor Knight Spider-Man For whatever reason um, And that's at the end I want that I want that as soon as I start So now I'm gonna just keep on playing And playing and playing Until I get that So it's like I do When I want something I want it like pretty much You know now I don't know if that's typical with people But I've, I've always been like that though And it is it is terrible Like I remember there was one car That I shouldn't have had Because um, <laughs> So it, you don't in New Hampshire. It's it's live free or die. So you don't have to have car insurance. But when you're getting when you're like leasing a car, or whatever. Or I didn't lease it, but like you know, you do the monthly payments or whatever. When you do that, they want you, you got to have insurance in order for you to dip out of the car place. So I put I put the insurance on a dead debit card. It, it like had fifty cents, and there was never going to be nothing else on that debit card. I put it on there just to get that car. And like the night before, I couldn't sleep. I like I needed it, so that's why I was like, "Oh, you know what? If I do this idea, I'll be able to walk out with that fucking car." And sure enough, I did. But it's because of the fact that I just I when I want something, I want it. So this is what I want. I want to entertain people in any way, shape, or form, whether it's through my voice, whether it's through my gaming, whether it's through my face and my video content. I don't care what the hell it is. I just I always enjoyed entertaining people. Like when I was a kid, I loved going in front of Mama, my grandmother. Um, and I used to, I used to do like skits about her. I used to, <laughs> I used to make fun of some of the shit that she would do and like not, not shit that she did on purpose. It was just like natural, whatever she was just doing during the days of life. And I would be like mimicking her and whatnot. And she would be crying, hysterical, laughing. And like, that was, that was my shit. It, I felt like I was on a comedy stage and that is something I always did want to check out is doing a comedy skit thing. But first of all. I, the only thing I could do is talk about like life situations or some shit like that and try and make that funny. I can't I can't think of like jokes, you know. I'm not I don't think I'm one for that. And one day I was going to go to a uh, a comedy club and check it out. And I was just like, you know, if I go to this here fucking place and I'm slapping my knee and I'm crying, then fuck that idea. But if I go to this place and I feel the need to like grab the microphone from the fucking guy, be like step aside, you know, you're all done here, you, you know. Then Maybe I'll do it. I'll pursue it. But I just got as far as the parking lot. I didn't even go inside the fucking thing. So I never still been to a comedy club. Um, it, it. But I, I, I very much love that shit. You know, just the fact that you get up there and you talk your stuff and you make people live and then you go on about your days. You know, it, that that appeals to me. And I think that's why I always wanted to get into content creating. I just, I don't know. I've always had this thing with people because for some reason... I meet up with a lot of people that just wants to, like, you just take from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you only hit me up if you're moving 
uh, you need me for my truck, but you don't ever call me for like eight months to see if I'm still breathing. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm used to people like that. So I, I don't think it was like really, uh, uh, oh, you know what's a good idea? Let me put myself in front of more people to like fucking take advantage of my life existence. Um, so it's unfortunate that I waited so damn long, but you know, they say better late than never. So I'm, I am happy ever since I started it. It's been a slow ride. And I feel like I should be at a different level than where I'm at. But you know what? I I am thankful for where the fuck I am too, though. Because I know there are people that don't get any recognition that do deserve it. And it's unfortunate. And it's like I would be one of those people too that shouts out those people. But number one, those are the videos that nobody sees anyhow that I do. So I did try that a couple of times. And then two, you know, I did try that for somebody. And then I, I went back to like check on them. And then... And they had, like, the balls to be, like, doing that, oh, I need help, cash at me this, Venmo me that. And I'm like, this is, are you serious? That's what you was looking for, the fucking, you know, a little bit of uh, a spotlight on you? I thought you was looking to, like, make content and shit like that, not not be fucking panhandling on TikTok, you know? I get times a bid. I understand people need help and shit like that, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't think that TikTok is the place for, like, fucking begging and shit, you know? I don't know. That's just my opinion. But that's why I kind of I strayed away from doing that type of shit, though, that, that like helps more creators thing, because you never know who's good and who's bad. And I don't got the time to invest in like fucking trying to figure out who's trying to like scam the world or who's trying to be a good person, you know, and I don't want to be responsible for setting up somebody, lifting them up. Uh, social media wise And then comes out They're just a scumbag Trying to like Use people for money So they could Do their extracurriculars Or some shit um, But bottom line To the story If you want to get involved In social media stuff Content creating I do I highly suggest it It's a great way To uh, Relieve yourself From like depression And stuff like that This is the topic That I was going to talk about So I'm not getting into it But tomorrow I will But um, Like I was going to talk about Hobbies And things to to not do things to do And this is going by my life experiences So it's not like you have to live by it uh, But yeah as far as content creating Like I, I've i gotten myself out of a lot of funks Using content creating The video making and whatnot. It's taken my mind off of the terrible things That my mind likes to think about for whatever reason uh, So I do highly recommend it It's just that you do have to be patient It's not going to happen overnight It could happen overnight But don't expect it to You know what I'm saying Like if it does happen overnight Embrace the shit out of it And, and appreciate that But don't expect it You know because uh, Because sometimes it is an uphill fucking battle But you just got to get past it And then once you do I'm sure it'll be a lot easier I haven't got to that point yet So I can't say for sure But I believe it will be easier At some point But you know, it just takes not giving up. That's all it is. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this. This was a bit longer. I still I still have to get a timer or some shit like that as far as uh, trying to figure out how long these things goes for. I do have a, a it's it's clocking me right now. It's saying like one one three five point two. And I have no idea what the fuck that means. So we're going to end it here, though. OK, thank you very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making all these. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to do another one tomorrow, okay? So, so I'll catch you all later. I love you all very much. Thank you very much. Have a great day.